So this here is basically just going to be a test run. So this first part of the video here is basically um, with the added VHS effect because I was coming up with the idea to make videos look like a little bit more old because, um, well, I'm a big fan of VHS if you didn't know that, which you probably didn't because um, I never really told you guys that. But as you can see here, this is my... Um, probably my 87th attempt <laughs> something like that because i've done a lot of attempts before in the past with um vhs effects for this program i use which is basically um iMovie i'm using right now but i can do it with um the other one which i use is video leap or kind master i think that's how you pronounce it i may be wrong but that's basically how i use it so yeah so I'm just going to let this first part play and then I'll give you some info later on in the video on the second part which is a non-VHS effect and you can see possibly the difference. This is going to be another part of the video where it is a VHS effect that is not added beginning of the first part. As you can see, there is a difference between the normal um, picture that you see here in the second part of the video versus the first part, which added the VHS effect, which is basically just um, a green screen with the added filters to it to add the VHS effect, and that's why I've added it to the first part of it, and that's how I made it. Now, if you guys don't mind me asking you, but I'd like to possibly get some feedback from you guys to see if you guys hate it or you like it or like if I need to tweak something up, but I just thought I might add, um, started to add this to my videos, well, at least for my D-Day videos in Roblox and possibly Minecraft too as well. I'm thinking of maybe just doing it on, um, D-Day because I think it'd be a little bit more realistic because basically... D-Day and Roblox is just a World Roll 2 themed game, and that's pretty much it about for the whole game, besides trying to be parts of it being historical accurate, but for Minecraft, I'm just going to keep it as it is because I like the colors, the textures, 
I have mods I can review too as well, but this is just a test concept video that I'll be using. And I have another video too for Roblox D-Day that I'll probably be posting after this video and this recording on the um, tape. So yeah, thank you so much and see ya. So, um, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And also, I wanted to ask if you guys would like me to start some, doing some of these voiceovers because I actually kind of enjoy it and it takes up a little time for me and kind of, in my opinion, speeds up the video and, like, what goes on. So, if you want me to start doing this, please let me know. If you don't want me to, that's okay at the same time. I'm kind of like a guy that's free or whatever, so, yeah. Peace out.